Sir Fortescue. My name is Jack of the Green. I am the master of riddles, and this maze is my domain. You are free to leave, but only once you've answered four riddles. Puzzles so fiendishly difficult, so perplexingly complex, that no man has ever solved them. Ha, ha, ha. Now, try my first riddle. <coughs> At night they come without being fetched. By day they are lost without being stolen. but my star riddle was but a trifle. I always like to begin with an easy one. Return hither. You will not find my next conundrum so simple. I live for laughter. I live for the crowd. Without it, I am nothing. Yes, it was a clown. Very clever, I'm sure. Return in haste, Sir Knight, for I wish to see the despair on your face when you hear my next cryptic buzzline. 
Face like a tree, skin like the sea, a great beast I be, yet vermin frighten me. I pretended that riddle was hard, but in truth it was obviously an elephant. This time, however, I always pity him. The answer to my next excellent word is a game of the finest minds of a whole generation. stars, I can't abide the sun. Banish me with torchlight and you'll see me turn and run.
blast you. It took me ages to come up with that darkness one. Very well. Outrageous as it seems, my vast intellect has been matched by your badly decomposed brain. Return at once and I shall give you your prize. You think you're so clever, don't you? Here you are, Sir Clever Clogs. I grant you free passage through my maze. Find your own way out. Dan, 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 tell me, what's a warrior queen got to do to meet someone like you? <coughs> Don't be shy, baby. I've seen you giving me the eye. You may be weak and feeble like all men, but I like you, Daniel. <coughs> If you return, I may take you for my husband. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now listen up, sugar. Your bow and arrows are fine for itty bitty jobs, but if you want to pack some serious heat, you should take this spear. Uh -huh. Think of me when you throw it.
to him, I said. You can't touch me, you lanky windbag. I'm the mer. Aye, that told him. But then he had me locked up in here with all these nutters. Oh, it's been terrible. I haven't managed to get a word of sense out of anyone in weeks. <laughs> right. Well, I'll see myself out, thanks. You have a good look around, lad. Zarek's left some stuff lying about that I think you might find useful. <laughs> Look at you running around in your bones, Fortescue. You're so nouveau dead. <coughs> I, Ravenhooves, last prince of the centaurs, have not galloped the earth in over 10,000 years. <coughs> Do yourself a favor, Fortescue. Take my longbow. More powerful than a crossbow. The option of flaming arrows? It is truly the weapon of noblemen. Ha, ha, ha. 
Congratulations! You don't quite have my breeding, Mr. Johnny come lately, but there's hope for you yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
forth like a supernatural yo-yo. Maybe the master will make it harder to find those magic egg cups. Ah, Herr Fortescue, you are back on the battlefield, yeah? This is good. People say to me, Stungard, what do you think of this sword or that axe? But I say to them, nine! Modern warfare is a question of science, the science of shields. <laughs> I think maybe you should take my shield, yeah? It is magic, here for this cure. Some say it is better to have a magic sword than a magic shield, but I say to you that this is rubbish! So long as you use it properly, the shield will make you invincible! <laughs> <laughs> 